Dr. Jaffe, one of our customers writes in and says that she uh, tuned into one of your lectures and you were talking about homocysteine and methionine balance. She recognizes that the homocysteine goal should be less than six, but she's unsure of how, how to determine and what to do if methionine is too high or too low and would like to know what you recommend in that situation. Methionine to homocysteine in biology is your guide, is your window into methylation. Methylation is really important. If you methylate something, it becomes more soluble. If you take methyl groups off, it becomes less soluble. If you want to make it more soluble to move it around, you would methylate it. If you want to put it in place and leave it there, you would demethylate it. So methionine is the methyl donor source, and it exists in life and biology in relation to homocysteine. Now, if you go back to the 1960s, Kilmer, McCauley, McCauley and colleagues showed that a homocysteine above six is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease, atherosclerosis, coronary artery disease, and stroke. And more recently, others have shown it to be an all-cause morbidity mortality indicator, which is why we recommend measuring the plasma homocysteine with the goal of less than six. Now, you do have to be careful because methionine and homocysteine exist inside cells, and they can leak out after the blood is drawn if you don't separate the plasma from the cells within, say, half an hour. In fact, there are many laboratories that will not measure homocysteine unless the plasma has been separated within a half an hour, which usually means that you have to draw it in a place with a centrifuge uh, available. Now, what is, I think part of the question is, how would you measure methionine? And what is your goal range for methionine? Well, you measure methionine as an amino acid on plasma. You can do 24-hour urine for amino acids. You can even do spot morning urines for amino acids. Although, as a clinician, it's harder for me to interpret any given momentary methionine to homocysteine in urine rather than plasma. And if you do measure plasma amino acids, which you can certainly do, it's not very expensive, you get a bunch of information, including the fact that you would like your methionine to be two to three times whatever the homocysteine is. So you want your homocysteine lower, less than six is the goal. You want your methionine higher, 12 to 18 is a good range. And then you want the body to have enough cofactors from magnesium and choline citrate to ascorbate and others to enable healthy methylation regulated by methionine. So thanks for asking. Plasma amino acids, we can help you interpret, although our lab doesn't do that test, but we can help you understand the physiologic meaning of a plasma or urine or even salivary amino acid profile. And the one that has been best standardized and is best understood clinically is plasma amino acids or just measuring plasma methionine and homocysteine. And I will mention that most labs that measure amino acids in plasma do not measure homocysteine on that. Uh, it, it, homocysteine does not appear as a result from the way in which they now do amino acid plasma analyses. So normally you have to order the homocysteine separately. And then if you want the methionine, you can either order it alone or as part of a plasma amino acid profile because the cost will be the same. 